Sunday today. Where's the sun? Okay, dumb joke. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful day. It is still cold in Singapore, especially in the morning, especially when the wind is blowing like that. I'm just gonna go get some breakfast first. That was a $5 meal. These birds are noisy. See? It's fried noodles, fried fish, and an egg. Five Singapore dollars to be exact. I know I haven't been telling you guys the proper way of the cost, but uh, usually when I say dollars, it's Singapore dollars. Because I'm in Singapore. Um, just posting a video first, then I gotta go take a shower, and then I gotta go to work. I am off to work now. The weather is still very cool and windy. I decided to drive to work today, for obvious reasons. Even chilies and resorts were enough exposure. I don't think I'll be vlogging there today, so I'll see you after work instead. That is, if anything comes up in between, then I'll vlog about it. So, a little change of plans. I came to work and then I did a good two hours of work, and there was not enough customers, so they sent you back early. So, this is one of the bad things of being a part timer is that when it's not busy and they don't need any stuff around, they will tell you to go back. But it's good for me because that way I get to vlog. I'm thinking of going to Universal Studios for a while because I haven't been there... Because I haven't been there since December. Since the start of December. Since the early part of December where we did the Victopia and the Christmas stuff. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what's new in Universal Studios. But I figured I'd just go and take a walk around and see what's up there. It's completely nothing new. Nothing new to show you guys here. Everything is the same. I mean, apart from Chinese New Year decoration, which serves no purpose because I don't think they're gonna have any Chinese New Year shows here. Of all my five years visiting Universal Studios, uh, today, is, today is like the first time I'm actually in Universal Studios without feeling hot or sweaty. Usually this area would be really hot and humid, but today it's really cool. I think I talk about the weather a bit too much. Yep, nothing has changed. Everything is still the same. Oh, I think I know what I want to do. I'm craving for laksa. I mean, you guys have seen me eat laksa at the Jurassic Park food court. I think I'm going to have laksa today. And since this is a cold weather... Okay, let's, enough of talking about the weather. I'm craving for laksa. was priced at $11.50 Singapore dollars $11.50 Singapore dollars All right, that's it for Universal Studios updates Not much has changed at all Everything is still the same Guys, here is one problem of being a vlogger When you got not enough content and you gotta go out to find content Yeah! We are going to watch a movie now. I mean, it's fine. I wanted to watch this movie anyways. And today we are going to a different cinema. I just realized that I parked my car at the wrong level. <laughs> going down again. Today the cinema I'm going to watch, it's a different cinema. It's at Jurong West. This mall is called Jurong Point. The reason I'm going there is because uh, it's Golden Village. That's the only Golden Village near this area. Movie is at 9.30. It is already 9.20. 
I think I should be able to make it. Plus, they got commercials and trailers running at the start of the movie, so I think I should be safe. <laughs> short story and a little history lesson of Lina. I used to work at the cinemas. That was like my third or fourth job and Golden Village is the cinema that I work for. Now you guys know there's a lot of Golden Village around Singapore but the one at Jurong Point is the one that I worked and then after that I went to Plaza Singapura and then Vivo City. So that's a little history lesson. A lot has changed in this mall. And yes Golden Village. Got the movie ticket. Expect a comprehensive review after the movie. I'm heading in now. I'm kind of late. Hi. This here is an older cinema. All right, they actually did some upgrades and they changed the seats. The seats are so much nicer now as compared to when I was working like 10 years ago or maybe 15 years ago, I don't know. I'll see you after the movie. The Commuters starring Liam Neeson, the guy who is made popular from the movie Taken. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. If you are looking for ransom, I can tell you I don't have money. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. If you let my daughter go now, that'll be the end of it. I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you don't, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. So, The Commuters. This movie is about a bunch of people on a train. Sounds familiar, isn't it? Just not too long ago, I watched Murder on the Oriental Express. The only difference is, that movie is like ancient time train, and then this movie is present day. Present day train. Oh yeah, and also, one is looking for a murderer, this one is looking for weakness. That pretty much sums it up. Right off the top, you know that this is a low budget film. It's not like your everyday Hollywood blockbuster, big budget film. And the special effects in this film, sucks. I know I'm pretty critical on my movie reviews, but hey, is this movie good enough to watch? And the answer is yes. You see, why I say that is because the storyline of this movie was really, really good. Now, like the murderer on the Oriental Express, there is investigation going on while you're on this train. Vic would definitely fall asleep in this movie, but Anyways, apart from having just the investigation going on on the train, there was a fair bit amount of action scene going on in this movie. That took me by surprise. However, the special effects was terrible, like I mentioned before. But I like the story because from start to finish, they actually fill up the gaps that you experience in the whole movie. So that's a good thing. Like, I don't want to leave a movie having question marks. That is kind of annoying to like leave in a movie and it's like, hey, what about this happened? What happened with this, you know? Everything that was shown in this movie, had a purpose. It was just not like, oh, here's Wonder Woman, or here is Batman, or here is The Flash. You see what I did there? Anyways, guys, such a long day for me today, and uh, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Please remember to subscribe, hit the notification button, give me a thumbs up, like, and share my videos. Leave your comments down below. Let me know if you have watched The Commuters, and uh, let me know if you enjoyed it or not. I actually enjoyed this movie and uh, would I recommend it? Yes, I would. Just don't have too much high hopes in the special effects section. <laughs> Alright guys, take care and I will see you in the next one. See ya!